This is Abel Stewart, and as part of our guitar class lesson series, a lot of our guitar class folks are actually ukulele people, ukulelists, uh, ukulelers, whatever the right term is, folks who play the ukulele. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about how, if you're a guitar player, how do you play the ukulele? It's actually a pretty easy transition in many ways. So uh, if you're a guitar player and ever wanted to pick up the ukulele, this is the, the lesson for you. Alright, so any chord you know on the guitar is going to translate pretty easily to the uke. So for instance, your G, open G chord, you don't have these two strings down here, so you actually don't need to worry about those two fingers. But there, so this would be what would be a G on the guitar is going to actually sound like a C on the ukulele. That's because the strings are tuned differently. It's a transposing instrument if you're used to the guitar. Um, couple ways you can figure out that transposition. One is if you know music theory, it's up a perfect fourth or down a perfect fifth. Um, so G, you know, up, to, up a fourth would be a C. Uh, the other way you can do it is if you followed our scale stuff. And so you know G, one, two, three, four, the fourth scale degree of G would be a C. So you could go to the fourth scale degree if you're doing scale theory. Um, otherwise, you may, you may just have to memorize you know, the, the, how, the different things. But, so equivalent of a G on the guitar is going to be a C on the ukulele. Your C on the guitar is going to be the equivalent of an F on the ukulele. So this would sound like an F chord. Fingers like a C on the guitar. Again, you don't have that finger there, you can move it off. So, C on the guitar, uh, sorry, G on the guitar, C on the ukulele. Um, D on the guitar is now a, a, a G on the ukulele. A on the guitar is now a D on the ukulele. Um, e on the guitar is now an A on the ukulele. Your B7 on the guitar is now an E7 on the ukulele. And so on. pretty much any chord on the guitar will transfer. That applies to bar chords as well. Um, it also applies to finger picking, so like in strumming too. So strumming on the guitar, so down, down, up, up, down, down, down with a percussion. Right. So any guitar strumming translates pretty well to the ukulele. Um, finger picking as well translates. Um, the thing is with the finger picking, what's going to be different, that string closest to me is no longer a low pitch string, it's a high pitch string. Right? There's a reason for that. So what happens is a ukulele functions in many ways kind of like a five string banjo. You have that drone string on the five string banjo. That high pitch string closest to you on the ukulele functions in many ways like that drone string on a five string banjo. So let's talk about how you can use that to your advantage. So if I'm doing finger picking, so I can go pick a melody note, drone, strum, drone. So like a little basic pattern. So finger, so melody, so note to the index, drone with a thumb here, drone. So note, drone, strum, drone. So for instance, uh, Amazing Grace. So, uh, or do something like uh, You Are My Sunshine. And so on. 
So you can use, if you're familiar with a five string banjo and you know some of that drone technique for doing some ostinato stuff, translates perfectly well with the ukulele actually. So you can do some guitar things, some banjo things. It's a really versatile instrument and a lot of fun to play. So have fun with that. Um, and yeah, that's the ukulele. It's a really easy adaptation for either a guitar player or a banjo player. Uh, just keep in mind that transposition of the chords and don't let that throw you off. So, ukulele.